Hello, guys. In this lesson, we're going to talk about an in-depth guide to Facebook Creator Studio. Let's get started. Facebook Creator Studio offers tools that content creators and publishers will need so that they can post, schedule, and manage the content of multiple Facebook pages and Instagram accounts efficiently. You don't have to switch from one platform to another to post content. It makes managing your content easier and saves you time. To use Creator Studio, you can use the URL business.facebook.com slash Creator Studio. From Creator Studio's homepage, you can view the section where you can post content, add stories, upload videos, or go live. You can view the recommendations for each Facebook page. The section Monetization shows that your page is eligible to use one or more of the monetization tools. The next section shows you the new features that you must try out. Facebook is always innovating its features, so you might view different topics here that you must try out. Under Insights, you can view a summary of your page's performance during the last seven days, such as people reached, engagement, link clicks, and comments. Recent Posts shows you the latest video that you have shared on your page during the last seven days. You can filter by posts, video, live stream, premiere, photo, link, or text posts. Lastly, you can view a summary of the number of scheduled posts, drafts, and expiring posts. You can streamline your messages. You can manage your audience's interactions in one or multiple Facebook pages. You can view them all under the Inbox tab. It includes messages from your messenger, comments on your posts on Facebook and Instagram as well. You can cross-post videos on the different Facebook pages where you are an admin of. The Content Library allows you to view all the content that you have uploaded and shared from your Facebook pages. You can see an overview of your posts, including a thumbnail, a title, post status, date and time posted, the number of impressions, people reached, engagement link clicks, if there are people who engaged on your posts, such as comments, shares, reactions, and if it's a video, it will show the number of times people view the first three seconds of your video and the first minute of the video. This can help you understand if your audiences liked your content. You can create playlists on Creator Studio. This allows you to organize the videos that you have uploaded effectively. You can review your page's insights, which shows metrics for videos that you have shared. Facebook wants you to create and upload more videos on Creator Studio. You can learn more about your viewers, such as their demographics, where your viewers are coming from, and how long people are watching your videos. You can monetize your content. Video content creators can earn from the videos that they share, but there are requirements to be eligible to earn from your videos. Publishers can set up instant articles to monetize their articles. You can earn by paid online events where guests can pay to attend. Other monetization tools where you must meet requirements to start earning are in-stream ads for on-demand, which are short ads that can be included in your videos so that you'll earn money. You can also create a fan subscription for your page by offering exclusive benefits and grow your community that supports your content. Stars can be sent to your page during your videos, such as live streams. In-stream ads for live can allow you to insert ads while you're doing a live stream. Brand Collabs Manager allows you to earn money from paid partnerships with brands by collaborating on creating and sharing content with your audience as well. Let's start posting content on our page using Creator Studio. Go to your page and from the left menus, click on Publishing Tools. On the Facebook Business Suite, click More Tools from the left menus, then click Creator Studio. Under the Home tab, you can view the section where you can post something. Click on it. You will see a pop-up window to create a new post. Another way to create a post is to scroll down to the Recent Posts and click on Create Post button. Under the General section, you can write your caption for your content in the Post Text and Links field. If you click on the small icon below the text field, you can add a background for your text post or choose plain text using this icon. Under Media, you can share photos or videos. Now let's add a photo. Facebook has the feature to detect a product on your post, so you can tag that product detected in your photo. Under Tags, you can tag products on your photo. Search for the product to tag, but make sure that product is on your Facebook shop. 
You can also add an optional location. Click More Options to choose Post Add-ons to include in your post. You can even use the Call to Action Gets Messages. If you need to add a Call to Action button on your post, you need to remove the media that you have uploaded here. Now the location will be shown in this post since we've added a location. You can now enable the Get Messages Call to Action button here. Change the image. You may choose the same image that we have used earlier. Now you can see a Send Message Call to Action button on the preview of our post. Under Distribution Settings, you can see here that your post will be distributed to the newsfeed of your followers by default. You can select the Stop Newsfeed Distribution, then select a time and date when you want your post to stop showing in the newsfeed. The post will still be visible, but the newsfeed distribution will end. Now we have successfully posted our content with a Send Message Call to Action button. Now let's try to upload a video. On this pop-up window, write the caption for the video. Click on the Add Video button. Uploading video will have more features available to include in your post. The first tab shows you the video details. It includes adding a title for your video and describing your video inside this field. You may even add and choose a filling or activity, check in a location, tag a product, then add a messenger button on your post so that people can initiate engagement and send you a direct message via messenger, then add tags such as keywords to help people find your video. You can edit your video as you click on this button. If you need to trim to adjust where your video starts and ends, you can do that here. Click Trim Video. You can use the scrubber below the video to drag on which part of the video you want to trim. It will automatically update the timestamp from the beginning and the end as well. Play your video back to check if you need to adjust the timestamp and if the video looks right after trimming. Once you're done, click Trim. You can check the Optimizations tab to make your video stand out. First, you can generate a 1 is to 1 cropped version of your video, then choose if people can view this on mobile only or mobile and desktop. You can enable this checkbox so that you can review, adjust, and approve or discard the cropped version before you publish your post. You can also generate a 4 is to 5 cropped version here, or publish three different versions as a post testing, or choose not to use smart cropping on this video. Next, the thumbnail tab. You may choose from the images from your video, but it would be a good practice to create a custom thumbnail to attract more people to view your video. Under the Captions tab, you can enable or disable auto-generated captions. You can even upload .srt files to create captions for any language or write or paste captions directly on your video. You can add pause to your video, but it is required for you to have a video length of more than 10 seconds to be able to add pause. Click Create Paul. You can ask a question about your video to engage your viewers and find out what they think. Write your question, then add option 1 and option 2. You can also drag where you want the poll to appear. Now go back to your video details. Make sure all the details are complete. Once you're done checking, click Next. Under Publishing Options, you can choose how to publish your post. You may publish it now, set it as Premiere, Schedule, Backdate, or save it as a draft. You can also choose where your post will appear, such as on your news feed, display and watch, allow embedding, or add as a secret video. You can add a button to your videos to raise money for a nonprofit or a fundraiser. Then you can add this video that you're going to publish on one of your playlists. If you haven't created a playlist yet, you can create a new playlist here. Now let's save this as a draft first. We can manage draft posts in the Pre-Publish tab. Click on the Pre-Publish tab, then click on the Drafts tab. You can still edit it and publish it later. Click Edit, then under Publishing Options, choose the Publish Now option. Then below, click on the Publish button. Here's the content that we have published. You can see the first content that we have uploaded with a photo and a Send Message Call to Action button and the video with the tagged products and the Call to Action button. All the content that we have uploaded will be shown under the Publish tab. Now let's talk about how to create a playlist on Creator Studio. Playlists can act as folders, having multiple videos inside each playlist. It can help your viewers to watch your videos in the order that you have saved them in your playlist. When you organize your videos inside a playlist, you will also increase your chances of being discovered by people. 
Now let's create a playlist on Creator Studio. And from the left menus, look for Publishing Tools. Once you're on Creator Studio, go to Content Library, then click Playlist. When it's your first time to create a playlist, you will see this page. Creating playlists allows you to improve video discovery, organize videos effectively, and create your brand. Click the Create Playlist button. First, you have to select the page to add a playlist. From the drop-down menu, select the Facebook page. Next, create a title for your playlist. There are 50 characters that you can use for the title of your playlist. You can create playlists based on the topics of your content or themes that will help you categorize your videos. This will help keep your viewers watching your videos on your playlists. You can also compare which topics or themes get more attraction from viewers. Next, write a description for your playlist. You can craft a short description telling people what they can learn about your video. You may add keywords that you think people can search for that keyword phrases related to your video. Next, upload a cover image. If you don't add a thumbnail for your playlist, Facebook will automatically choose a cover image for your playlist. Now start adding videos to your playlist. Click Add Videos from your library. Select the video, then click Add a Video. You can save it as a draft or add more videos, reorder them, then publish the playlist. If you click on the pencil icon, you can still edit the details of your playlist. Once you've finished creating playlists, you can view the order of the playlist as you create them. You can edit the playlist and reorder the videos. You'll get a unique URL for each playlist that you'll create. You can share your playlists on different social media platforms or share them in your email marketing campaigns. This can help you drive more traffic to your page and your videos as well. Facebook Playlists allows your videos to get more video views and keeps your viewers engaged. As one video on your playlist ends, it will automatically start playing the next video and continue until it reaches the end of your playlist. People will be entertained and will continue watching until they have finished all the videos in your playlists. Creating multiple playlists for your videos can help boost your videos. As more people watch the videos inside your playlists, Facebook will notice this and will give your videos priority to be shown on people's news feeds. Now let's talk about optimizing your videos using Creator Studio. If your goal is to reach more people and increase your video views, you can apply some practices to make your videos stand out and make your videos searchable so they will be discovered by more people on Facebook. You can add information about your video. You can tell people what they can learn about your video using your titles and descriptions. Adding keywords that can help your content to be discovered as people search for keyword phrases on Facebook's search bar will benefit your page and will allow you to attract more viewers who are interested in your content. Let's talk about the length of your video. Longer videos are acceptable, which are ideal for shows with multiple episodes, stories on videos, live streaming, and sharing relevant and informative videos. A good length is around 1 to 3 minutes, but it is best to upload longer videos that last more than 3 minutes. You can also share shorter videos, which are ideal for sharing entertaining videos, such as funny videos, teasers, or announcements. You can share less than 1 minute videos for shorter videos. Try and test which videos gets more views and engagement on your insights. Now let's talk about the video titles. The title of your video allows your viewers to learn what your video is all about. You can improve your video's title so that when people search for keyword phrases, they can discover your video showing your video's title as it matches the keyword phrases that they have searched for. Here are some tips that you can apply to your video's title. First, keep your title short. Look for keywords that are best used in your video's title. You may include major keywords that people might use to search for videos that can match your video's title. There are websites on Google that can help you with keywords that you can use for your title. You can use headline generators where you can enter a topic and it will return video titles that you can choose from. It may give you ideas of different titles that you can use for your videos on Facebook. You can copy these ideas, but edit them to be relevant to your content. You may notice titles using the word how, which nowadays is the widely used keyword that people are searching for in videos where they can learn something about a particular topic. You may also see titles using numbers that increase the viewer's curiosity to learn about that topic. 
but do not stuff your title with tons of keywords as people will be confused about what your video is all about. As a result, they might ignore your video instead of watching it. Next, let's look at some tips that you can apply to your video's description. Your video's description will show up on the top of your video. Your video's description will support your title as it gives more information about the video. On the news feed, people can discover your video and the description will show as a caption above your video and it will tell people what they can learn about your video. When people search for videos using the search bar, your video's description will be shown below the video's title as people browse on the search results. It is recommended to craft your video's description that will clearly describe in a few sentences what makes your video stand out. Don't craft long paragraphs in your description as people will not be able to read them all. People will not take time to read everything in your description, especially if it's too long. It is important to use the best titles for your videos. This can help your content to be discovered by users who are interested in your content. People prefer watching videos on Facebook, so there's a greater chance that people can discover your videos as you include the best keywords inside your title and your description to allow your video to show up on the search results. As a result, you get more video views. Now let's talk about managing and scheduling your posts. Uploading content on your Facebook page can take up your time if you're not prepared about what content you want to post on your page and you're going to craft your caption at the same time that you will upload the content. When you schedule posts, you're preparing ahead of time what content you should post, including the images that you will see, the video that you will share, including the description, and the use of hashtags or tags on videos. To schedule a post, you need to be the owner of the Facebook page or you have received permission to manage that page. Go to the page where you want to schedule posts. Go to the Publishing Tools, then look for More Tools. Now click Creator Studio. On Creator Studio's homepage, you can upload a single video, multiple videos, or post videos across pages. Choose your video, add a title, the description, add tags, and if you need to add more features such as thumbnails, polls, add them here. Click Next. Choose how to publish your post. For videos, you can set it to Premiere, where you can create an online event for this video premiere. People can even respond to the event. You can select a date and time to schedule the premiere for your video. Also, you need to add an image for the news feed announcement post. When you click Schedule, you can set the date and time that you want your video to publish on your Facebook page. Then add a video to your existing playlist or create a new one. Then click Schedule. You can see this notification that your content is scheduled and will be posted on this date and time. When posting content with an image, you can schedule the content in this section. Instead of using the Publish button, click on the drop-down arrow and choose Schedule Post. Then set the date and time to share this content. Then click Save. Now you can click on the Schedule Post button here. The scheduled content will be placed under the pre-published menu on your Creator Studio. You can view the scheduled posts in the calendar view. When you manage to schedule your content, to automatically post content every day or on the specific days and time that you have set, you can have more time to spend on your business to improve on marketing your products or services. You don't have to worry about what to post every single day. It is important to manage the content on your Facebook page so that you can share posts consistently with your followers. You can start creating content in advance for a week or two weeks worth of content, including the images, videos, caption or description, and the keywords, tags, or hashtags to apply in each content. If you prepare this ahead of time, it will be easier to upload all your content and schedule them to be posted on the days and times that you will set. You can even view the scheduled content using the calendar view and see if there are gaps without scheduled content for some dates. Now let's talk about how to put thumbnails on Facebook videos using Creator Studio. Videos that are shared on Facebook get more views since people are more likely to view entertaining content. It's not enough to upload videos on Facebook. You must use a custom image that will be shown to viewers who are looking at a list of videos that they are searching for or browsing under the watch section. When you upload a video using Creator Studio, Facebook can auto-generate still images from your uploaded video and make it as your thumbnail. But this is not the best option to use as thumbnails. It can be a random image from your video. 
If someone's browsing a pages videos tab, it would be best to create a thumbnail with an image that is relevant to your video and that image summarizes what people can learn about the video and also adding text that supports the image in the thumbnail. If someone's browsing a pages videos tab, they can view all the videos showing the thumbnail. If they place their mouse over the thumbnail, a preview of the video will be shown. The thumbnail will attract someone to click on the video. To add a thumbnail to your video, let's upload the video first on Creator Studio. Add the details of the video, including the title, the description, add a messenger button, and tags. Below, you can see the video that you have uploaded. In this section, you can see the thumbnail tab. The image that you can see here is the auto-generated image from your video. You can browse from all the images that were generated here. Below, you can also choose any still frame from your video. Just drag this tool and choose a frame from your video. To add a custom image, you must upload a high resolution image that best represents your video. Now click Add Image. Now here's the thumbnail for our video. Go back to the video details and you can see the thumbnail here. The first thing that people will see before they click on the play button on your video is the thumbnail that you have uploaded. Now click Next, then click Publish. Now let's check the post on our Facebook page. This is how the viewers will see the uploaded video with a thumbnail. Choose an image. You can choose eye-catching images having a high resolution file. This will allow your image to have a clear resolution even if the thumbnail shown in the search results will have a smaller image. Make sure the image is relevant to your video's topic. You can download free stock photos online to use high quality photos for your thumbnails. You can use the entire image as your thumbnail or add the image to a solid background so that there is a section on the thumbnail for the text. Next, add a text about your video. You can use a text the same as your video's title or craft a shorter text relevant to your video's title. Doing this will allow your viewers who are looking at images more than looking at the text on the video's titles to learn about the topic in your video. Make sure that your text is clear and readable. Take note that most people will view videos on their mobile devices. Test your thumbnail with the text if it looks right on mobile devices and if the text is still readable. You may use a bigger text to make it more readable as the thumbnail gets smaller. As people view the list of search results, the first section they might look at could be the images. The second section they might look at could be the titles. So it is important to choose a compelling thumbnail for your content. This should be relevant to your video and it can increase your viewers' engagement on your video as well. Let's talk about the size of the thumbnail. You can use the aspect ratio of 16 by 9 or 1 by 1 and the image size for the thumbnail is 1200 by 675 pixels. The recommended file formats are JPEG and PNG files. Adjust the color of your image so that it can catch your viewer's attention. You can use a background color that is bright in color, as anyone's eye may glance at a brighter color first compared to darker colors on images. To get your viewer's attention, you must use an image that can grab people's attention as they browse for videos to watch. When people search for topics to watch on Facebook, the list of videos will show a still image from the video or a thumbnail. You can even use online graphic editing tools that are freely used to create a custom thumbnail. Now let's talk about using hashtags on Facebook Creator Studio to get more viewers. Hashtags are keywords or phrases that includes a pound symbol preceded by the keywords and it is used without spaces. Hashtags can help your posts be discoverable on platforms such as Facebook. It helps make your content reach more audiences and get more views on your Facebook videos. It has a way to connect your posts to a theme, event, or a particular topic with thousands of posts that also include that hashtag as well. Facebook recognizes hashtags while you're writing your video or your post's description. It will show you a drop-down list of hashtags similar to the hashtag that you are typing. Hashtags on Facebook videos can help make your posts searchable and discoverable on Facebook. As people search for certain topics using hashtags, your video can show up on the search results. You must add hashtags in your video's description. You can use your brand's hashtag or a hashtag that is popular but relevant to your video. This way, people can see your video in the search results. Test your hashtags using your video metrics to help you determine which hashtags works best on your videos. 
Use hashtags that specific audiences who are interested in your video's topic will use to discover your content. Hashtags can help your brand reach a community who are posting content using that hashtag. If your content is about a certain niche, there's a possibility that there's an existing hashtag for that niche. There could be thousands or more users who are using that hashtag. You can check if that hashtag is used by people that you want to target. Hashtags can help your videos get more views. People can search for hashtags on Facebook's search bar. You can use the URL facebook.com slash hashtag slash topic. The topic can be any keyword or phrases that you want to use as your hashtag. It will show search results of posts with a hashtag that you have included in the URL. The posts that you will discover are from people who are interested to look for conversations around topics that they care about and interested in. Once they discover your video, you'll get more video views, not only on that one video, but they can also check out your page and browse for more videos that they can watch. Hashtags can also help increase engagement. It is best to use at least three or five hashtags on your video's description that these hashtags should be relevant to your video's topic. When people search for hashtags that match the hashtags that you have added to your video's description, you'll create an opportunity for these users who can be your customers, clients, or followers to discover your video. Since they are interested in your video, they will watch your videos, react to your videos, share your videos with their friends, and also comment or even tag their friends on your video. You can experiment using up to 10 or 15 hashtags on your video's description. Test and see what works for your videos. You can also capitalize the first letter in each word in your hashtag to make your hashtags readable and allow people not to misspell the hashtag. You can check the hashtags that your followers are using. Check and see if you can use it in one of your content. For example, hashtag Motivation Monday can be used by anyone on every first day of the week. Relate a video content with that hashtag. You will notice more engagement and video views on your content. You can also use tools online that can help you find hashtags that you can apply on your videos. You can type in a hashtag and it may suggest hashtags to boost your success with using hashtags on your content. These tools can also help you discover trending hashtags related to your hashtag. Once you use hashtags on your videos, you will notice that your audience reach will gradually grow. This is because of the hashtags that you use, and it can be searched by more people to discover content that uses that hashtag. Now let's talk about how to use tags on Facebook videos using Creator Studio. Optimizing your video content is essential for your videos to get more video views and engagement. Facebook will notice this and will show your videos to more people who are interested in your video's topics. The use of keywords in your video's title, in your video's description, will help your post to be included in the search results. It can help make your videos discoverable on Facebook. Similar to optimizing your posts, the use of tags can also help in making your posts discoverable on Facebook. Aside from using hashtags to help you get more video views, you can use tags on your videos as you upload them using Creator Studio. Tags are different from hashtags since hashtags contain a pound symbol before the keywords or phrases and should be used without spaces. While tags don't have a pound symbol and it may contain multiple keywords or phrases with spaces in between them, tags can be a single keyword or multiple keywords or phrases that you can include in your video only when you upload them using Creator Studio. It can help optimize your video as people search for keywords that match the keywords as tags that you have included in your video. You can add up to 8 tags on each video that you will upload using Creator Studio. Just type in the keyword that you want to include and you will see a drop-down list of similar tags that Facebook will recommend to use. You can browse for tags that are suggested and also the most used tags that you can apply to your video. In this section, you can browse for tags from the different categories of topics and under each category, you will see different keywords that you can add as your tag. Now let's upload a video using Creator Studio. When you click on Upload Video, you can choose from single video, multiple videos, or you can upload a video and share it across the pages that you want to upload. Cross-posting videos across pages helps you save time to upload once and share the same video with the other Facebook pages that you manage. 
you can input the information about the video for each page. If you click on the pencil icon, you can add the video details here, such as the video's title, description, add a messenger button, and tags. In this section, you can add more features, such as the thumbnail, captions, and polls. On the tag section, you can add the keywords to help people find your video. You can add keywords like the category that your video is relevant to. Since this video is showing a workout routine in a gym, we can use a keyword like fitness. Then you can view a drop-down list of different keywords relevant to this tag. If you want to use the keyword that you've typed in and not choose the recommended tags in the drop-down list, choose the option to add a new tag showing the keyword that you've typed in. You can also browse tags that show different categories that you can choose from. You can associate your video that is related to a category and it will show more keywords relevant to that category. Browse and choose from the keywords that are available under each category of tags. You can see that there is a fitness and workouts category here that is relevant to the video that we have uploaded. Browse for the available tags for this category and check which among the tags can be relevant to the video that we have uploaded. Select multiple tags that can be related to your video. All the tags that you have chosen under a category of tags will be grayed out showing that you've already added these tags to your video. The tag section will not allow you to input duplicate tags. You will notice that you will not see a drop-down list to add a new tag since we've already added that exact keywords here. When you have added 8 tags, it will show below the tags that you have added the maximum number of tags here. So you won't be able to type in any keyword anymore. Now add a thumbnail for your video. Now let's search for the video that we have uploaded by searching for the tags that we have used in the video. Let's try to search for the keywords that we have included in the tag section of our video. You can see that when we browse the search results, the video that we have uploaded is here. So there's a huge possibility that people can discover your video when you add more tags on your video. When you search for keywords on Facebook and filter the results to show only videos, You'll notice that Facebook will show videos that have more video views. Facebook will show videos with the greatest number of engagements, such as reactions, views, and comments. But if you include keywords in your video's title, the video's description, and also include the use of tags in your videos, it will give your videos more opportunities to be discovered by potential customers, clients, and followers, since your video will be seen in the search results. If they enjoyed watching your video, they will go to your Facebook page and browse for more videos that they can watch under the Videos tab. Now let's talk about uploading videos in different ways on Creator Studio to save time. Uploading videos on Facebook pages are optimized through the use of Creator Studio. There are different ways that you can post your videos on your Facebook page when you use Creator Studio. You can upload a single video and choose a Facebook page to upload your video. It's also possible to upload multiple videos on your Facebook page as bulk uploading or upload a single video to multiple Facebook pages that you are an admin of or the pages that you manage. Using the option to upload multiple videos will allow you to do a bulk upload. Bulk upload will allow you to work smarter since you can edit and work on your videos while the videos are uploading. Bulk upload will save you time. You can edit multiple posts at the same time and maximize your productivity. You can do more with your videos. You can bulk upload up to a maximum of 50 videos as you use the multiple videos feature to upload on your page. You can select multiple videos from your drive, then drag them in the section. You can publish, schedule, or save drafts of your work with the bulk upload feature. On this page, you can write the title for multiple videos that you have added. Then add the video's description for all the videos here. Next, add the tags that you need to include for each video to make it more searchable on Facebook. Under Options, you can click on the icons here to choose where your post will appear and it will show you the publishing section. Enable captions on your video. Add 360 views. Add a poll to get the viewer's opinion. Add tracking information, add your video to a playlist, or add to a series. You can also use the pencil icon to add more details to each video. Let's add a description and also hashtags. 
Hashtags can also help your video be discovered on searches. So it is a good practice to add hashtags on your video's description. Then add the tags. Add tags relevant to your video to make your posts discoverable by people who are interested in your video's topic. And they can discover your video in the list of videos as they browse the search results. You may add up to 8 keywords or tags for each video. Then add a thumbnail. Save it once you're done. Now let's upload a video and choose Post Across Pages. When you use the cross-posting videos across pages, it can help you save time to upload once and share the same video with the other Facebook pages that you manage. Now let's upload a video and choose Post Across Pages. In the sliding window, you need to choose a primary page to upload your video. Choose the primary page from the drop-down list. Below, you have to choose where to cross-post. This is the section where you can add multiple pages. You may select all the Facebook pages that you manage or select a few pages to share the same video from the primary page. Once you have chosen the pages to cross-post, click the button Upload Videos to the selected pages. Then choose a video to upload. Now you can view this post across pages to add the details of the video to cross-post from the primary page to the other pages that you have selected. On this page, you can add a title, the description, tags, and other options here. You can use the primary page to add all the details and the details for the cross-posting pages will be automatically filled out. Click on the pencil icon to choose more features and add details to your video. First, add the compelling title for your video. Then add the description and make it informative, including the keywords that can help your video be discovered as people search for keywords on Facebook that will match your video's details. Next, add more hashtags at the end of your video's description as it can also help in making your video discoverable on the searches. Next, add tags relevant to your video. Think of 8 keywords that you can add as tags to maximize your video. Then add a thumbnail for your video. Then click Save. You may notice on the Post Across Pages window that all the details for the pages to cross post will also be filled out with the same details from the primary page. You have the option to publish all these videos at the same time or schedule each page to share the video on different days and times. Let's set a schedule for this video on this page for this date and time and lastly, schedule another date and time for this video. The good thing about cross-posting is that you have to input the details only once on the primary page and you don't have to add the details for each page to cross-post since you're publishing the same video across all pages. Uploading multiple videos and cross-posting videos will save you time in uploading single videos to multiple pages or uploading multiple videos on a single Facebook page. Now let's talk about starting a live stream on Creator Studio. You can live stream on your Facebook page using Creator Studio. You can live stream news broadcasts, events, gaming, talk shows, interviewing people live, streaming educational videos, or selling products live. Live videos are more likely to show up on news feeds, which increases the chances of attracting more audiences to watch your live streaming video and engage with your brand in real time. It also increases engagement where people can react, comment during the live stream, and also share your live stream video. To start a live stream, go to Creator Studio. On the Home tab, you can see the Go Live option. You'll be redirected to the Live Producer page. This is the new Live Producer design. It is also possible to switch back to the previous version of Live Producer. On the left side menu, you may notice that you can choose the options to go live or schedule a live video event. Below, you can create a test broadcast before going live. The test broadcast will only be visible to page admins and editors. Then allow Facebook to use your microphone and your camera. Next, select a video source. If you're going to use your laptop's camera, the camera controls will have the settings for your laptop. Then set the default microphone to use for your live stream. You can use the option Start Screen Share so that your viewers can also view your screen and show them what you're doing as you go live. This is useful for videos that will show people a demonstration of tutorials. If you enable to show live tab on page, 
Anyone who visits your page will be able to see your live videos in the Live tab. Below is the URL for your Live Videos tab. Click Next. Craft the title of your live stream and say something about the video. These details are required. Next, you have the option to share to Pages Groups and select a group where you want the live streaming video to appear. Then click Save. This allows you to have more audiences to watch your live video from the members of that group. You can also add a group to promote, which adds a call to action button to promote a group that you manage. Click the audience settings. You can set a minimum age that you will allow to watch your live stream video. If you don't want to add restrictions, you can set it to public. Next, you can allow selected locations to view your live streaming video. You can also restrict selected locations so that people from these locations will not view your live stream. Under gaming, you can stream gameplay from multiple screens or cameras, then tag a game in this text field. Click Next. Under the dashboard, you can view your live video, insights, goals, feature checklist, including share to pages groups, and publish a poll. Polls will be available during your live video, and your audiences can answer the questions that you will set here. As you set the options, you can mark the correct answer as you click on this check mark. If you need more options, you can add them here, then click Save. All the questions for the polls will be available here. Under Settings, you can set the stream settings, such as ending the live video if the stream stops, set the stream latency, embed the live video so that you can insert your live video on any website, and under Viewer, you can set the option to allow viewers to rewind your live video if they haven't seen the first part of your live video. Under Comments, you can allow all viewers to participate in chat, only your followers will be able to leave comments, restrict commenters to comment only every 10 seconds, to comment only every 10 seconds, or any user can only comment if their accounts are at least two weeks old, which prevents people to create a new account only to spam your live video. Under Interactivity, you can edit your polls, add questions, graphics, and prompts. Prompts allow you to feature a link on your live video and let your viewers know about your website or to raise money through a third-party platform. Write a description of your link and add a website link below, then click Save. Now we can start the test live streaming. You can see if the video plays right during the live test broadcast. All the viewers who comment on our live video will be shown in this section. Once you end the live video, you can rate your broadcast quality and choose what went wrong, such as audio problems, delay or lagging, or low engagement. You also have the option to view the post, trim your video, or create a clip from your live video. If you want to schedule the live video event, click this option. You'll be redirected to this page, then type in the event name. Next, set the start date and the start time, then add a description. You can set a stream key and copy this stream key into your streaming software. You can also enable paid access to allow users to view your live video only if they have purchased access to your live video. You can earn money with paid online events, where your fans can enjoy premium content while they gather virtually. Submit this button to request paid access for this live event. Set the price, then you can set an early purchase discount and choose an end date for that early purchase discount. Also, you can set a limited capacity to make your event more exclusive. Click Next. You can upload a cover photo for the live event, and this is how people can view your live event and they can get access and view the details below. You can set the event settings, add co-hosts, show guest list, enable or disable, only admins can post an event, and enable people to send their questions via Messenger. Click Save, then Create Event. This window will show that our scheduled live event will start on this date and time. Once you go live on this date, you will need to set up the live video here. It will show you that this event is about to start and will be visible to guests who have paid to attend this event. If you want to go live and use a streaming software, use Stream Key. Take note of the server URL, which is the URL in your streaming software. Copy this Stream Key into your streaming software's Stream Settings. On your streaming software, access the Settings menu. Look for the Stream Settings. Under Service, choose Facebook Live, then copy the Stream Key from our Facebook Go Live Streaming Settings to this software's Stream Key field. Then click Apply. Click Start Streaming on your streaming software, and you can see in this post preview that it's already connected to the software. Click Go Live. Now your audiences will see that you are live.
Going live on Facebook can help you connect with your audience in real time. Your viewers can ask questions and you can answer their inquiries during your live stream. It's a good practice to announce your upcoming live streaming event so that people will know about the event and they will be online to watch and support your live event. Selling your products using Facebook Go Live is a great practice to attract more buyers to your page and more people will be aware of the products that you are selling. You can attract new followers who can be your loyal customers. People who watch your live video can view the live chat, all the users' replies, and find more live videos like this. Facebook prioritizes live streaming videos, especially when it drives more engagement from your audiences. You can also include polls where you're live streaming and this drives engagement from your audiences. Now let's talk about monetizing your content on your Facebook page. Content creators can monetize the videos that they share on their Facebook pages. This gives opportunities for content creators who have built their page with thousands of followers who continue to support their videos and this will entice them to create more videos and upload them on their Facebook page. Most Facebook users watch videos rather than reading text-based posts with photos. It's easier to watch and learn what the video is all about. People will continue watching videos that are entertaining, funny, and educational, which satisfies their interest and curiosity. Facebook in-stream ads or short ads that may last up to 45 seconds, and it is inserted inside the eligible video that the content creator shared on their Facebook page. It may seem as if the viewers are watching commercials while watching TV. For videos that generated thousands up to millions of video views, the content creator can enjoy the benefits of monetizing their video. It drives content creators to create more valuable, relevant, and entertaining content for their viewers. Ad breaks can have call to action buttons where the viewers can be redirected to another page, start a chat on Messenger about the product promoted on the ad. Viewers are more likely to watch the ad break in your videos since it only lasts for less than 45 seconds. Most ads that you see are less than 20 seconds in length. It's not intrusive and it will not cause the viewers to watch another video because of the ad. People are interested in your video. And that is why they will make sure to watch the entire video, even if there are short ad breaks. As a content creator, you can earn from your videos every time your viewers watch the ad breaks. There are different ways an ad break can appear in your video. Pre-roll, where the ad breaks will show before the video even starts. Mid-roll ads are shown anywhere in the middle of the video. Post-roll ads appear at the end of eligible videos. Image ads are static image ads that will help video creators earn money from videos that don't have a good place for mid-roll ads. Not all Facebook pages that post video content are eligible for monetizing their videos. You must meet certain requirements first before you can start earning from your videos. To check if your Facebook page is eligible for monetization, go to Creator Studio and choose the Facebook page that you manage. Under the Monetization menu, you can view the overview for your page. You can see the status and action required for your page's monetization. In this example, you can see that the action required for this page is to get started setting up instant articles. It informs you that you have a new tool to set up, and these are the things that you need to set up under instant articles. Click Get Started and you can complete the setup task for Page Review. Click Review and scroll down to enable the Agree to Terms button. The first section is now completed. Next, begin to add samples of your content to start the review process. You need to claim domain of up to 10 domains to use this feature. Next, configure the look and feel of your articles and test for errors. Once completed, you can add the monetization information for Facebook ads, then set up the payout account. The in-stream ads for on-demand option is for the short ads that you can include in your uploaded videos to earn money. It is best for uploaded videos and content suitable for ads. To be eligible, your page must have 10,000 followers and 600,000 total eligible minutes viewed in the last 60 days and 5 active videos on your page. Fan subscriptions are best for creators and brands with a large active following or with additional value to offer to their supporters. To be eligible, your page must meet two criteria. Your page must have 10,000 followers or 250 returning viewers. Next, your page must have 50,000 post engagements or 180,000 minutes viewed on your videos. People can support your page 
as they pay for the monthly price that you have set and you can offer exclusive content to your subscribers. Brand Collabs Manager is best for creators with an active and loyal following, have original photo and video content creators, and page topics that most brands won't see as risky. To be eligible, your page must have 1,000 followers and also one of the following criteria must be met, such as 15,000 post engagement, or 180,000 minutes viewed, or 30,000 one-minute video views that are at least 3 minutes long within the last 60 days. You can earn money from paid partnerships with brands that want to collaborate on creating and sharing content with your audience. Stars are best for creators with an active following, but it is eligible for invite only. Viewers can purchase stars and send stars to you during your broadcast to show support. You can collect stars and Facebook will pay you for the stars that you have collected. In-stream ads for live are short ads that you can include in your live or previously live videos to earn money. It is eligible for pages with live broadcasts or previously live videos. To be eligible, your page must have 10,000 followers and 600,000 total minutes viewed in the last 60 days with at least 60,000 eligible live minutes viewed and 5 active videos on your page, including at least 3 previously live videos. Under Collabs Manager, you can apply as a creator so that brands can find your page and get more paid partnerships. Click Apply as Creator. You can check the eligibility of your page, fill out the form, and submit your application. Some pages are eligible to set up and monetize instant articles and paid online events. You can view the eligibility of your page, such as for the in-stream ads for on-demand, and see if you have met the criteria or not. If you click the View Criteria, you can check the recommendation for your page, including growing your audience, creating engaging content, and build your video library. Under InStream Ads for Live, it recommends you to grow your audience, broadcast engaging content, and publish your live videos. You can earn money from paid partnerships using Brad Collapse Manager. You can grow your followers and make engaging content. You may notice that the paid partnership is seen under this section. In this example, this page collaborated with a very reliable electronics company to promote their products in the video content that they have created. This page has produced content that is relevant to the brand's niche. This video generated thousands of reactions, hundreds of thousands of video views, and almost a hundred comments. If your business needs higher rankings and viral traffic, we have a marketing app that can help you get more traffic using pre-recorded videos on Facebook or YouTube and make it seem to go live on the platform. Livecaster is the most powerful traffic boosting application that gives a traffic boost from both Facebook pages and profiles. You can go live instantly or schedule your live cast for future live broadcasts. You can live cast multiple videos simultaneously. You can go live in three simple steps. Step 1. Connect Livecaster to any live streaming platform. Step 2. Add any video from your computer. Step 3. Then schedule or go live with one click. Try Livecaster now. Go to livecaster.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.